<laughs> All right, welcome to Itty Let's Play. I'm here with Billy, and we're playing God Dang uh, Dream Daddy. I forgot what we were playing for a second. You shouldn't okay. have looked at me. I wouldn't have helped. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, some fresh air or a nap or unpacking. Let's get some fresh air, huh? Time to soak up all that vitamin D, make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an all rational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park! We're gonna meet so many dads. Oh, I gotta reset my timer. There. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I wonder what town this is in, because it's definitely not a big one. It's probably some like Oregon town. Yeah. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust that. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Whoa. Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. I like your necktie. Ruff! He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. <laughs> Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof! <laughs> How long do I have left? Grr. What's that? I'm already too late? My fate was predetermined for me long ago? I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime? <laughs> rough, rough. You're right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is a noble. Thank you, wise dog. Arf. Uh, what, uh, do you want to do this dude, or do you want me to do this dude? We could. Okay. Um, the... It might be good for you to do the other dads, because otherwise I might end up just in yeah. long conversations with myself. Yeah, I figured so. All right, I gotta get a voice for this dude. I'm gonna give him a high voice. You definitely could have caught that. Oh, that was the wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you might want to wait till we see him. Hold up. Oh, let's try that again. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. I'm gonna be honest, this guy is really hot. I feel like you're gonna say that with all of them. <laughs> You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. I'll catch you with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Kramer, and this is my daughter, <laughs> Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Huh. Hi. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hey. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Kara Karamazov. I don't know how to pronounce that. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Huh? Whoa. Ah. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Kramer's HP 80. Brian's HP 80. Okay. Uh, brag? Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You 
lose 15 HP. Shit. We're losing. Daughter? I can't switch daughters. Okay. Um, item? Child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive. <sighs> but Amanda genuinely, genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Okay. Oh, we regained 20 HP! That's more than we started with. Nice. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't even have a chess club. Or a computer lab. I'm glad we lose less HP on that one. Yeah, well, let's brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bag. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP! Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize! A canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Oh no, we lost 20 HP. Okay, well he's still losing, so let's see what items we have. Grade card? You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dab. Awesome grades, Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. You <laughs> lose five. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh, my left leg is asleep. It's been asleep since the last episode. <sighs> Let's brag again. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Okay, Brian loses 10. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Ouch! Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Okay, he only has five left, so anything I do is gonna do it. So, spelling bee photo? Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh! Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh no, we lost! Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Ah! Did he have the insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Ah. Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. <sighs> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding? Can't believe that kid's only ten! What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have measured in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. Dad! Let us never speak again of the fantastic adventures of Sir Hor- Sir Hor- I can't talk! The Fantastic Adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda from Seinfeld. <laughs> I forgot I made their last name from Seinfeld. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Uh, go unpack. We should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed, and I'd like not to have to sleep on the floor tonight. When lifting weights, use proper form and a full range of motion. Okay, my leg isn't asleep anymore. I can sit normally. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk around the living room without tripping over boxes. Nice. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! 
A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Whoa! Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi. I'm Kramer. That's what my name is. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leaned in and whispers. <laughs> But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? All right. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just... tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh. Uh, I meant... <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue at the cold sack, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Mm. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Hey! If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> uh... I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Alright, the only idea is Joseph probably wants his play back, so... Ooh, a lot of options. <laughs> I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Huh. We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Huh. Shoot, I'm ac not actually sure which house this is. Huh? I'd hazard a good... Words. I'd hazard a guess it's the what? Fuck. <laughs> it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Oh god, I was just terrified by the two children on the left. <laughs> yeah, they do look creepy. Hey guys, is your dead around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckled nervously. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back, even as we approach our house. 
I need something to get my mind off of those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm -hmm. You've been awake for what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Kramer, bro! I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. He's hot. Hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up our tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California, just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of the town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic? Mm -hmm. I don't know that word. Twins? You have three kids? Hmm. <laughs> Ain't life something, bro, right? Keg Stand Greg is a father of three. Hmm. Keg Stand Craig? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. <laughs> he got it because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. Huh, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna do jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Mm. <laughs> well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, uh, I don't know. Hey! Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do like a bro brunch like the good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Mm. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. Mm. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was the thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. You know what? <laughs> he, he has a point. It's tomato and... I don't know what else is in marinara sauce, but it's got- it's kind of like a smoothie. I shouldn't be allowed to have kids. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. Thank you, Amanda! He jogs! He was jogging! He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. All right. Uh, l uh, let's, uh, l uh, let's do some more next time on Itty Let's Play! Bye, you guys. Bye.